Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 5 of uh, super important questions of uh, AI and uh, ML uh, in continuation with the previous 4 uh, videos which I have uploaded. So um, these are the 5 most important and uh, super repeated topics which you will be um, required to learn before the exam and this is the most expected question from the exam for 2023 and any other external of AI. So um, in this video, I'll be discussing what are the key points you need to write and uh, what are the things you need to uh, focus much upon what are the formulas and the numericals that could be asked in the exam regarding these questions. Okay, so let's get started. Before starting, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel because your support helps me make more videos like this. Okay, so let's get started. In KNN is the first topic uh, and this uh, document link can be found in the description box. Okay. Our first topic is KNN in that you can be asked with the algorithm, the definition and the theory part and with an example, they can also ask the numerical. Numerical I will discuss in a separate video. And uh, regarding the theory and the example and the uh, algorithm, I will be discussing that uh, in this case. So basically what is KNN is, suppose that you have some points here and some other uh, points you have here and some other points you have here. What are the similarities between the points based on that? What is the nearest distance? It will be forming separate groups. Okay. So that is what is called the K nearest. This is one group, one group, one group. K nearest neighbors, what is this? That will form one group. And how many groups we want to form, we will be specifying by the K value. That is called as K nearest neighbor uh, learning algorithm. First thing, what you need to write in the K nearest neighbor uh, learning algorithm is that the most basic instance based method is K nearest neighbor learning algorithm. This algorithm assumes all instances correspond to the point in the n dimensional space uh, R power n. The nearest neighbors are uh, classified using the distances calculated by Euclidean distance. And each of the uh, instance will have some attributes known as feature vector a1x, a2x, a3x till a1 of x, a n of x. Okay. And the distances are calculated by using the Euclidean distance formula. These four points you have to write in the first part. After you've written that much, you have to consider the two cases in the uh, KNN. First is the discrete uh, target valued function, and second one is the real valued function. Okay. So in the discrete valued, you will be having a finite set in the output which you will be writing as v1 till vs after you have written this much you have to write the algorithm with the algorithm consists of two parts training and classification training is same for both real valued and discrete valued in that you'll be having a training example x and f of x x is the input f of x is the output which will be added to the list of training examples Classification algorithm uh, starts from considering a new instance xq which you have to classify and we'll be using this formula for calculation okay for more information watch the theory video in that I have explained using an example as well. The same goes for the real value also. The training example is same and you will be using this formula for training example. Real value training example. Okay. That was about KNN. Let's move on to the second super important question which is radial basis function. The first point you have to write is that it is a mixture of distant weighted regression and artificial neural network. Okay. Second point you need to write is it uses this formula f dash of x is the global approximation of x and we'll be using the w naught w1 x1 w2 x2 instead of x1 x2 x3 and all you'll be using k u d x u comma x distance of x u with respect to x and kernel function k u for it. If d u increases k u decreases. If k u increases d u decreases. That's second point. Okay. The third point what you need to write is we'll be calculating this value based on the k value and once you have calculated it is called as global approximation for that particular point x u okay now we have to write something about uh, what is k u dx u it has a simple formula same as the previous one e power 1 by 2 sigma square d square of x u comma x that's the same formula which we learned before also it's just written in a different form after that it performs two functions the first function that it can approximate any function with small error given that there is large number of k values and provided with sigma square of each value and second thing is, once the first layer calculates something, the second layer will use that values to calculate the second layer uh, final outputs. Okay. These points you have to write for the radial basis function. Moving on, we have the third simple important question, which is the case based reasoning. What do you understand by the term case based reasoning? You will be uh, reasoning something based on some case. Suppose you have some already existing cases, by using that, you will be forming some case. For example, if someone has fought someone, okay, and that person is say, telling some argument that he bet me first, she took my this, he took my that. And this party also has some other arguments with them you will be observing what are the existing cases and you will be trying to find out a new case based on what is the answer uh, optimal for both of the parties that is called as case based reasoning that examples you have to write here that uh, and uh, some of the key points what i have write is case based reasoning is a lazy learning algorithm what do you mean by lazy learning is KNN is also lazy learning okay KNN is what lazy learning remember this and uh, lazy learning means 
it will be having uh, it will just take the values and store it with itself it will not compute anything okay that is called as lazy learning here it will take all the cases keep it with itself it will not calculate anything and uh, it will be calculating based on the similar instances it will be classifying and forming a new case it will be using two things rich symbol representation and library of previous designs which will be stored okay these three points you have to write and you can give an example few more information is there what is the library type and all you can go through it this is the example you have to give if the hot water is represented by q1 quantity of uh, water 1 and temperature of water 1 cold water is represented by q2 and t2 q3 and t3 are the uh, new uh, normal or medium temperature uh, water for this you derived it from q1 and q q1 t1 q2 t2 which were already existing cases this is an example for case based reasoning q1 plus q2 is q3 t1 plus t2 is t3 and the same things are represented here you can just uh, elaborate in your own words forming a new case by using existing case is called case based learning algorithm okay then this example you can give moving on to the fourth super important question reinforcement learning reinforcement learning means there will be an agent or a robot with us which will be learning what is uh, in its environment and finding out the optimal uh, way to reach its goal state there will be a starting state there will be a goal state and there will be many ways in between it will be choosing that way which will maximize its reward and what way of maximizes its reward that will be the most optimal way to reach the goal state these points is mentioned here you can go through it after i've written this much you can give an example like if there is a robot whose battery is getting over and that robot wants to plug itself into a dock a charging dock it will check all the uh, places where it can plug itself wherever it is getting charged it will consider that as optimal answer because that's the goal state charging itself and it will get a reward if it charges itself okay by using that it will charge itself to the correct dock and uh, there will be many uh, states also many actions many rewards will be there the most optimal one is called as control or optimal policy which you will be learning okay and this is the diagram which you have to make agent is there and environment is there state and reward and action will be performed by the agent it will be getting a new state and new reward okay like that s not is the initial state action uh, not is the first action taken reward uh, not is the first reward got and uh, by uh, these things you will be going to a new state perform new action new reward new state new action new reward, and so on okay like that will be going this thing you have to write and for that we'll be using some formulas for and for the uh, discount factor also we'll be using the discount values more information watch the theory video okay and after that you have to write the uh, reinforcement learning problem characteristics in characteristics you have to remember depl okay what you will remember depl depl four characteristics are there delayed reward why we are getting delayed reward if a uh, robot is in a one state it will be able to observe the uh, neighboring states but neighboring state also has some neighboring states right and which state to choose depends on which state will lead closer to the neighboring state's goal all right see <clears throat> you cannot just tell this is smaller means this is the optimal one what if this is uh, this is bigger okay let's take an example 5 cost 10 cost and here 1 lakh cost here uh, 10 cost again the goal state goal state is reached if you just consider the first part 5 or 10 you'll uh, choose 5 like a stupid person and you'll end up spending 1 lakh here instead of that if you choose the whole path like 10 and 10 or 5 and 1 lakh you'll choose this one right that's what that's why delayed reward why because it has to see the further steps also then we'll calculate the reward for that we'll be using the uh, temporal credit assignment we'll be assigning some credit temporarily which will be updated further whatever we assign initially that is not the final one done that was about the uh, delayed reward exploration means what at each point you'll have two choices explore more or whatever you have utilize it and find out the more reward in that okay that is a two uh possibilities that is known as exploration third is the partially observable states in partially observable states you'll be having some states which are not completely visible you have some information regarding that in all those cases you have to explore more okay that is about the partial observed states see here the best policy may be the one that chooses an action that specifically improves the observability of the environment observability should be improved in the environment that is partially observable states next we have lifelong learning the ro robot should uh, keep learning until it uh, reaches the maximum or the optimal state and again it should keep on learning it should not stop because the situations might change it should be ready to act in that particular situation then that was about the uh, uh, reinforcement learning what all you have to write okay Moving on to our final question, which is uh, Q learning example algorithm and formula you have to write. What is Q learning? 
द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ रीनफोर्समेंट लर्निंग इज बेस्ड ऑन क्यू लर्निंग देर इज सम फॉर्मुला देर इज सम एल्गोरिथम विच विल बी अपलाइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट एंड एग्जीक्यूट री इन्फोर्समेंट लर्निंग ओके सो वॉट इज द फॉर्मुला द फॉर्मुला इज क्यू ऑफ एस कॉमा ए स्टेट एंड एक्शन ए इज इक्वल टू आर ऑफ एस कॉमा ए द इनिशियल रिवॉर्ड प्लस द डिस्काउंटेड रिवॉर्ड ऑफ वैल्यू फंक्शन इन टू द डेल्टा वैल्यू ऑफ एस कॉमा ए दिस थिंग जस्ट रिमेंबर राइट थ्री टाइम्स एंड रिमेंबर एंड द बेस्ट वन विल बी चूजिंग एंड डिक्लेयरिंग इट एज द ऑप्टिमल पॉलिसी क्यू ऑफ एस ए विल फाइंड फॉर द फर्स्ट स्टेट सेकेंड स्टेट थर्ड स्टेट फोर्थ स्टेट बिकॉज फ्रॉम वन स्टेट यू कैन गो टू मेनी स्टेट्स फ्रॉम ऑल दो स्टेट यू विल चूज विच वन इज द लीस्ट ऑप्टिमल वन मीन्स द मोस्ट बेस्ट वन यूल चूज एंड दैट वन यूल असाइन टू द फाइव स्टार ऑफ एस दैट मीन्स द बेस्ट ऑप्टिमल पॉलिसी ऑफ गॉट योर ओके सो दैट्स वॉट यूल बी दैट्स वॉट अबाउट द फॉर्मुला एलगोरिथम इज ऑल सिंपल कैलकुलेट फाइंड आउट द बेस्ट एंड असाइन इट दैट मीन चूल नथिंग मच हियर ऑल्सो इट इज सेम ऑब्जर्व द करंट स्टेट एज सेलेक्ट एन एक्शन एग्जीक्यूट इट रिसीव द रिवॉर्ड ऑब्जर्व द न्यू स्टेट अपडेट द एंट्री अगेन कीप ऑन डूइंग अंटिल रीच इज द फाइनल स्टेट okay that was about the algorithm and here's a small example here if you have many states here present as r here and the states which are leading you closer to the goal that will be of more value what is leading far from your goal that will be of less value for example if you are present here here you have how many choices you can go here 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 this is the goal state okay so that's why you can observe there is 100 here there is 81 because one uh, you need two more steps to reach the goal this is the least value because you need three more steps to reach the goal this is the highest because one step is only needed to reach the goal okay that is an illustrative example for the uh, q learning algorithm and you have to write this one and explain by a simple example for example if you are standing at one state you have to move to different states uh, in what way you can move what are the values for each of these the maximum value you will be choosing for example you have discount value as 0.9 and maximum value among different states 66 81 100 which is the most maximum 100 so 100 into 0.9 90 so 90 will be assigned at this location okay at this location 100 will be updated to 90 and that will be assigned okay so this marks end of the module 5 make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one